Hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open with everything to satisfy your taste buds. Here's the menu. The hottest, freshest, crunchiest popcorn. Each kernel popped to its fullest with that real movie time taste. Cold drinks. You'll find your favorite ice cold, tasty, and thirst quenching. And hot dogs, hamburgers, and candy too. Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. Yes, there's an air about hot coffee that's hard to resist. Full-bodied, refreshing hot coffee makes any time a pleasant interlude. Won't you have some now? Isn't the chicken lucky <coughs> that eggs are the shape they are? Not square, <coughs> not rectangular, <coughs> but perfectly <coughs> egg-shaped. And aren't you lucky, too, that the eggs you buy from Kroger's are perfectly <coughs> egg-shaped and as fresh as the hen can make them? <coughs> Cackling fresh eggs from Kroger, gathered fresh and cooled on the spot, then whisked away in a real cool truck for grading and dating by a government inspector. Every egg graded, every carton dated in a cool, cool grading room. From the hen to the Kroger dairy case, they're kept cool all the way, so they're grade A all the way. Guaranteed to ride high in the skillet. Guaranteed cackling fresh. Who but Kroger sells cackling fresh eggs? Uh, nobody. What a hamburger. Wouldn't some hot buttered popcorn hit the spot right now? Extra fluffy, extra big kernels of it pop to perfection then drenched with the golden goodness of pure, sweet, creamery butter. Can't you just taste it? We heap the container extra high, but <laughs> you better buy two more for the rest of the family. Piping hot, golden buttered popcorn at the refreshment center right now. to the ears of the hungry. The sizzle of a mouth-watering hamburger. Fresh, lean beef, done to a golden brown, couched in a soft bun, and garnished to taste. Man, that's hunger heaven. And you'll feel like you're heaven sent when you get one at our refreshment stand. How did they get in these crazy positions? Playing funny bone. The game for people who love to laugh. Okay, back where you started. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. The ear bone connected to the shoulder bone. Mm, the what a hamburger. Hip bone connected to the hand bone. The head bone connected to the head bone. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. The head bone connected to the head bone. The hip bone connected to the hand bone. The ear bone connected to the shoulder bone. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. When you pick up a funny bone card, well, <laughs> the head bone connected to the headphone. You'll just have to get Funny Bone, the game for people who love to laugh by the Bakers of Monopoly. Funny Bones is a Parker game. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Well, hey, everybody. Uh, let me get some jazz going. This could be a little loud. Ah, it could be a little loud. I'm going to talk so that it's a little bit quieter because when I talk, it lowers the volume of the music. I'm going to just keep talking until I can get in there and uh, turn it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Beep, beep, beep. Happy thir Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday. I know what day it is. It's Thursday. Oh, happy 420. Of course. Smoke them if you got them. How's Animorphs 8? I got... Uh, how far am I? I read some of it today. Actually, I'm, I'm entering tomorrow with some of it red, which is an improvement. Usually, I've been cramming it day of. So, uh, so far, so good. It's been good. It's been good. Animorphs 8 has been good. Uh, I'm just going to play some Roller Coaster Tycoon today. Oh. Especially since you bought merchandise. <laughs> it's a 420 Miracle. Mo Chicken, thank you for the five dollars and change. Looking sharp in that tomato branded swag. Hey, yeah, this is a, a shirt I acquired from fan mail. I'm I'm bad. I don't remember who exactly sent it to me. If you're here, remind me. Um, but I think it looks and fits pretty great. Alyssa, was it you that gave me the package that had this magic string? that MJ was obsessed with? Because she is still obsessed with a string. I play, I, the, we play with the string every day. Oh, wow. Probably the most used part of the fan mail thus far. <laughs> and it was, it's the string. Uh, Mr. Meth. Thank you for the $5. I hope you know that you're probably the brightest ray of sunshine in the universe. Thank you very much, Mr. Meth. I appreciate it. Okay, what time is it? That's fine. That's close enough. Okay, I got uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, we got Daily Bread today. Uh, do not testify against your neighbor without cause, or use your lips to deceive. Proverbs 24, 28. Mm -hmm. It's not a terrible life lesson. Your <laughs> lips are for sucking. I think that's the next verse, actually. I think that's what comes immediately after. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get Roller Coaster Tycoon going. I'm just going to kind of chill today, take it easy. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I've been getting a lot done lately, and I've been not sleeping <laughs> very well, which makes it hard to get more done, I'll be honest. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Dojinski, thank you for the 57 months. Orlando, thank you for the two months. Sasaruga, thank you for the two months. Odin's Abode, thank you for the 34 months. Oh shit, it's Alyssa. Thanks for the four months. Moose was re-watching Dust and... Thank you very much. Oh shit, it's Alyssa. I'm, I have a feeling there was more to that story. <laughs> this was a Sonic 06 stream. You know, uh... He's still staring at me. I haven't logged him in yet. So, Sonic 06 looms. 
Oh, you've been watching Dust Before Bed? I want to play some more Dust. What up, Cosmo? Do you want to try and... Uh, let's try and continue our uh, Bingo 98 world. How does that sound? Watch Dust three times? I got to play it again. I'm getting close to being done with season two. Bingo 98, I'm really gunning for this weekend. I can't promise anything, but I, what a hamburger. I do think that when it happens, there will be a moment when you say, oh, that's what he was working on. And you're either going to go, that was worth it, or you're going to go, oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited for it. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? What's our goal here? No promises Ian returns. I just don't want to, I don't want to over promise and under deliver, you know? It's, uh, I'm hoping for this weekend though. Okay. 750 guests at the end of October year three with a park rating of 600. Okay. So I just gotta, I just gotta be good really. Never promise, never deliver. I like that idea, too. That's a pretty good... That's a pretty good strategy. When's the cutoff for sending games for Win98? Did I miss it? You probably missed it for Season 2, but I'm planning on doing, like, continuing this for... I mean, until it sucks. Wow, I don't have any good... <laughs> like, any good rides... Yeah, so hopefully forever. One would hope. Uh, okay, I need to change my funding. I need... I need roller coasters. Well, I do need shops and stalls, too. Closer to the evening? Yeah, I, I really have no idea. I'm telling you, my biggest fear... My biggest fear is that we're going to bingo in five pulls. Last time we filled up the boards pretty full before we bingoed. Uh, and now that I'm kind of hoping it goes that long, I feel like I'm going to pull five immediately bingo. And then be like, okay. Well, see you next time. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Should be less of a wait between the next two. I think this should be the last time that it takes me this long to, to get going. Mm -hmm. It's true. Season three would be sooner. It's true. It's true. Yes, I do have a... Uh, I have a media catalog now. Oh, wow. You can find it on the P.O. Box page. A link to it on the P.O. Box page. I need to put one on my Twitch page, but I haven't done it. Shit! There's a tree in the way. Candid Gamera. Thanks for the two months. What have you guys been up to? Watching anything good? Playing anything good? I can't say that I've been doing much of either. When I'm sitting in front of the couch now, I'm working on Bingo 98 stuff, so I'm watching Dance Moms for like the hundredth, <laughs> the hundredth time so I don't uh, have to pay attention to it. Ooh, started Community for the second time. I feel like I've seen Community, I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be ten times maybe at this point. I rewatch shit like crazy. Favorite Dance mom, mother. Oh, that's tough. It might be Jill. Jill's kind of, uh, Jill's kind of crazy. Oh, I haven't gotten to Yolanda. Yolanda is nuts. <laughs> she hasn't shown up yet. King of the Hill. I'm about ready to rewatch King of the Hill. I, I spoiled, or I, I gave up the secret, so now I can openly talk about how I was working on that really big King of the Hill video. Oh, wow. I watched so much King of the Hill trying to do that video. I have not watched it since. It's been years. <laughs> it's been years. 
So it would be nice to uh, watch it at some point. Big video, yeah, big video was king of the hill. I talked about it in a recent stream. It was gonna be a like a every episode review, uh, but it was too big. And then uh, the review every episode of something format kind of took off. It was like a trend on YouTube, and so I can't do. I can't <laughs> that means I can't do it. Obviously. It was going to be a big episode. That's why I was saying I was I was maybe halfway through, maybe. And it was like five, six hours. So it was going to be, it was just unreal. It was just unreal. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was thinking a pandemic was starting and I was like, oh, I got to get this really big, fun project. This would be a fun pandemic project. This is not... Well, it'll work. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. This should just be the end. I need more f logs. Not enough logs. Have I heard of Billiam covering all of lots? Probably. I mean, there's so many. You can you can find a you can find a full full series coverage of pretty much any show at this point. I'm pretty sure. Um, which is not to, you know, discredit the style of video. It just made me not want to, it just made me not want to make my own. I haven't watched any of those. I haven't watched, uh, any like full series reviews of, of something like that. I've never, uh, it's just the time, man. <laughs> it's a big, I've got to watch all of Dance Moms again. I can't be watching YouTube videos. Those are good videos. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I should watch them. Maybe I'd like them. I feel like I'd rather just watch the show. Especially because I, if I'm going to watch a video about like a really long review of a series, it's probably a series that I like. So... I'm probably just going to watch, like, I don't want to watch someone talk about Lost for 10 hours. That's, that's like two whole episodes of Lost. <laughs> I could just, I could just watch those uh, two episodes. New mystery tape soon. Probably not soon on the mystery tapes. Let's say eventually. Yeah, I gotta do an every episode review of Dance Moms. Not enough people have seen. <laughs> not enough people have seen it. I started watching. I didn't get to finish it, but I started watching The Box with a friend. She had to leave before we finished it. But I've always wanted to see it. It's bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. No, now what's in the box? The box? It wasn't even a box. It should have been called The Button. It wasn't a box. It was a button. It was a movie. I thought it was an M. Night movie, but it's not. It's a movie where a couple gets a button from this mysterious man who's like, if you push it, you'll get a million dollars, but someone somewhere will die. Um, and so far, that's the most, that's definitely the most interesting thing that's happened so far. Even, I mean, I'm just going to start spoiling it because it's terrible. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they push the button. I, <laughs> that's, that's how good it is, is I think that they have pushed the button, but I'm not, I'm not totally positive if they did. I'm pretty sure that they did, though. Um, I think they're getting their comeuppance. I'll finish it one of these days. They did a sketch on it. I, for some reason, I thought it was an M. Night movie. For, in my head, it was kind of like Devil, which I did see. <laughs> Would you push the button? Um... Yeah, probably. 
Maybe not. I just feel like I, I the concept is fine, but I, I wouldn't. I'd be like, this, I'm going to get comeuppance here. Like, this is a scam. I would be more hesitant not... If I was sure it was legit, I would have to consider. But it just seems so like you're going to come... This is going to come back and bite me. Mm, now, see, one of your family members can't die. It's someone that you've never met. So my kind of theory is that my theory is that the button will get passed along to somebody else, and then when they push it, someone of the previous, someone who pushed it previously might die. I have no idea. But there's got to be a catch. Like, if you push the button, you're next in line to, to die when the button gets pushed. That would make sense. Mm, what a hamburger. Candid Gamera, thank you for the two months. Otter Espresso, thank you for the 19 months. Garglev, thank you for the 50 bits. Himbo Prime, thank you for the three months. Pizza Skeleton, thanks for the 35 months. A brutal stream is exactly what I need to get me through my brutal workday. Thanks for being a cool dude on the internet. Pizza's 12 cool. What if the button gave someone you hated 10 times the money? I mean, I that would be even easier. I mean, if there's no death and someone else just gets more money than me, yeah, fine. I'm fine with that. I'll let you know how it ends when I get there. I'm not... I think it was based on a book. It's got... Uh, it stars... I think Cameron Diaz and James Marsden. Who is like... I don't have anything against him, but I, I have a hard time. I'm starting to like... I feel, I feel like I see him everywhere. And it's becoming a little hard to like take him seriously in a role. It's like, oh, there's James... John. Is it John Marston? There's John. Could have sworn his name was James. Oh, yeah. I am working on... Uh, I'm working on some brutal foods. That's what I'm going to work on after, after this. It should be out next week. <laughs> that's the Red Dead guy. Okay. Okay. I did play a little Red Dead, so maybe that's where I, I picked that name up. Can we get a hint about... Yeah, I'll just tell you. It's a chip video. It's a chip video. It's definitely going to be different. <laughs> um, the, the Discord knows this already because I reported it when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> ben is on the right track there. I recorded the whole video and my microphone was off. So the current plan is just to dub... <laughs> Just to dub the whole video. Um, so that's going to be fun. I think that should present some fun opportunities. Mm, what a hamburger. I haven't done it. I haven't gotten there yet. But uh, thank you. Thank you, Discord, for encouraging me to stick with it. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun with the dub. There's there's a lot of fun things I can do there, so. Ooh, tidiest park in the country. I'll accept that award. Yes, I have heard about the new trash reality show, Milf Manor. I kind of want to watch it. I think the premise is actually great. If you haven't heard of Milf Manor, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's a dating show, right? Mm, what a hammer. And you want, you, it's for, it's for date, dating, for MILFs. Who want to find a, a, a young man and young men who want to find MILFs. And the I think the catch is that all all the on the island or wherever they are, it's it's their mom is there. So it's the the young man and the mother. <laughs> and they get to uh you know have opinions about the the MILFs that are being chosen or something like their mom is they're not trying to date their mo mom, but one of the other young men on the island is going to. Yeah, sounds like a hot mess, so I might have to tune in. Where's Dilf Manor? I mean, I'd watch that too. But Milf Manor has to succeed first, so everyone tune in. Everyone tune into Milf Manor so that, so that we can get Dilf Manor, the show everyone is craving.
I haven't watched it yet, though. I'm, I'm watching Dance Moms again. I haven't really watched any. The only dating show I still watch is 90 Day. That's not really a... It's not really a dating show. That's more of a love documentary, you know? Milf Manor was too much for you. <laughs> Oh my god, dated and related? I don't know that I like the sound of that one as much. How is 90 Day currently? I don't even know how to describe it, man. Everybody sucks. I feel like they used to have 90 Day people that I would enjoy, but now they just cast people that are awful. <laughs> and I'm still watching for some reason. I haven't seen botched. I'm assuming that's about like uh, plastic surgery has gone wrong, which doesn't sound like it would be. I don't really do the like the medical stuff. In fact, I constantly ran to the TV about TLC putting like pimple popper or foot uh, my gross ass foot ads while I'm watching 90 Day. I feel like it should be illegal. Pimple Popper is great. Listen, listen. Everyone's allowed to watch what they want to watch, right? You know, no judgments or anything. But I do think something is a little wrong with you. If that's what you're watching. <laughs> I think my mom likes that show. I think she says she watches the, the Pimple Popper. Not for me. No, the ads alone are enough to just, I get so pissed. I'm pretty sure I've angry tweeted at the TLC account, <laughs> get these fucking pimples off of my TV, which of course does absolutely nothing, but that's how uh, enraged I was. I had to yell at somebody. It's not even that I'm squeamish. It's that I'm watching a, it's that I'm watching a TLC reality show and then they cut immediately to an ad of someone cutting open a giant boil. And and the lady's like, oh, look, this one's so big. Oh, look at this nice, healthy little pus pocket. Oh, that's so cute. And then everybody watches the show and they're like, I love this show. This is so fun. I love this show. <laughs> you see? Now imagine ha being forced to watch the ads. I'm just describing it lightheartedly. Now imagine you're watching your TV and all of a sudden it cuts to an ad of it. It, sh it should be illegal. The video helps me sleep on pimple. Yeah, not for me. Not for me. I believe in your right to, to watch it, but I also think it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> there's, it's, there's a problem there. <laughs> Movie Shea, 456. Thank you for the 37 months. Oh, yeah. A National Cold Brew Day stream. Yep. No other special holiday today. Lol. Ha oh. That message is now over. Thank you, Movie Shea. I have to shut up. Oh, that was Mo. Mo Chicken donated six dollars to change to tell me to stop talking about pimples. I will. I will. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, pimple discussion. <laughs> uh, I need more roller coasters, man. Let's do a chairlift. Let's build a chairlift between some islands here. That that could be fun. Uh, so what else is happening? When does Severance 2 drop? I'm waiting for Severance 2. I'm, I'm waiting for Severance to be over so I can watch it. I, can't, I feel like I can't do weekly episodes as well anymore. I just want to wait till it's all done so I can sit down and watch it all. Barry 4. I'm going to have to finish Barry. I think I'll like Barry, 4, or Barry next time I watch it. I think I'll like it better. I'm not really excited to finish it. Um, but it'll probably be fine. Man, Severance is uh, so cool. Can we please have Severance TV Club? You mean like how we're doing with Animorphs? You want to discuss Severance uh, as it airs? I, I would do that. 
I would do some uh, episode opinions. That's a great show to discuss. Oh, I got another roller coaster? What'd I get? I'm already committed to this. Ooh, Mine Train. I hate those. I've always been afraid of the Mine Train roller coasters because I once built one in Roller Coaster Tycoon and it exploded. And uh, so in real life, that's probably what happens. <laughs> so I don't like those. Is Severance as depressing as it seems? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't really think so, but I also think that... Uh, um, I don't know. Not that I... I don't feel like I have a high tolerance for that kind of thing, but I... I feel like I give out less, like, content warnings than some people. I don't think it's, it was that depressing. I think it's more... Uh, it's it's more, like, really cool world building. It's It's like a mystery. Yeah, it's got comedy in it. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a depressing show, no. Is the world bleak and sad, though? I mean, it's like a... It's not wholesome. Is not, not a word I would use to describe it. Um, dystopian, yeah. There's a... I mean, it largely takes place in an office building. So, if you find that fun, then maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to not give Severance spoilers. I'm trying to talk about it without talking about it. Um, it's a, I would say it's like as depressing as maybe Lost. It's like a mystery adventure show. There's some serious topics, but... Um, oh, this needs to be further back. But I would not say it's a depressing show, no. Comedic mystery thriller. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like they're out here trying to make me sad or anything. I would say give the first episode a try. Because the first episode, I don't think anything... I'm trying to think. I don't think anything particularly bad happens. But if you feel like, oh, this is, this is a stressful situation, then you could, you could bail. Uh, which game? A little about the Stanley Parable. Oh, yeah, it is. I guess it is kind of like the Stanley Parable. I hadn't considered that before. I could see that for sure. We're talking about Severance. The show Severance. Boom, boom. Okay, that'll get you from point A to point B for $2, maybe? Bora, Bora, Bora. I did not play Deluxe Stanley Parable. I played original Stanley Parable, or not original. The original was a mod, right? I played it when it first got its official release. And then not again. You hear Dora, Dora, Dora? I hear Bora, Bora, Bora. And then a mom going, wow. Like, you pronounced that so well. <laughs> Ready for the new putt-putt? Is that a thing? It does sound like Dora. I can hear Dora. I have a feeling there's probably no Putt-Putt. Because I don't think it's owned by a company that makes things. There's a new um, Nancy Drew, though. I don't know that I we've mentioned that on stream. They're making another Nancy Drew game, which is uh, kind of surprising. No, Humongous isn't still around. I think the the name might exist, but it's just... I think it's owned by someone like Pogo or somebody? I don't remember exactly. But I think they just, uh, I think they just publish 
like re-release the games? You think it's going to be awful? You don't think the the that her interactive is just going to make some changes since it wasn't well received? The last one wasn't well well received. I'll play the new Nancy when I get to it in 10 years, 10, 20. People are theorizing they're going back to the style before. Is there any, like, like, did they leave a clue to suggest that? Or are people just saying, wow, it would be really dumb if they, if they doubled down? We refuse to play anything released within the last 15 years. It's true. Okay, let's build one of those minecart. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. I like this one. I, I was thinking about the tiny minecart uh, track. When do I think I'll be too old to be a content creator? Big the cat dropping the uh, the good questions. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Ba, 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 ba. I honestly think that most of my audience will just age with me. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Ba, ba, ba. Just never leave me. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave, okay? Uh, but no, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't think I would stop even if I did lose all my audience. I mean, what am I going to do? Not make stuff? I don't know. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound good. Dude, you know, I'm going to stream from the nursing home. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be a, a grandpa, uh, retirement home like prank channel I'll, I'm gonna go around and prank all the other old people it does sound like Dora Dora now I hear it is Dora Dora ah mm -hmm. uh, art <laughs> Stealing Jebediah's dementia pills gone wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, can I get like a photo... You hear Tora Tora. The Japanese code expression for the signal to begin the attack on Pearl Harbor. That's probably what it is. It's probably a really hidden reference to Pearl Harbor in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, as like an educational opportunity for the, the kids playing. Ooh, denture cleaner reviews. I could definitely do that. I could review the food that they serve me at the old. I could brutal foods could still be going. Do you think when we're all like super old, do you think like elderly home abuse in like retirement homes will go down because everyone's gonna be like tweeting it? <laughs> everyone's still gonna be on their phones. Everyone's gonna be tweeting it. Canceling all the elder abuse. So, yeah, we'll have next door. Oh, they're going to break my fingers? Well, okay. If they break my fingers, I'm not going to be able to YouTube anymore. If I, if I vlog that their food sucks and they break my fingers, I might have to retire. Think we will make it to the retirement home? Another good question. What are your thoughts on death as we play Roller Coaster Tycoon? <laughs> uh, 
It would be interesting if YouTube just became like uh like only old people were there. I wouldn't hate that. I think that could be okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it did kind of happen with Facebook. I don't know. I don't think that's true. I feel like a lot of people that I know are still on Facebook. <laughs> this is so cringe. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be an interesting time. I'll still be streaming, though. I still use my... Facebook account to get bonuses on Big Fish Casino, my favorite <laughs> free casino app <laughs> that I play. Because uh, I'm already practicing for the retirement home. You know, you're going to need to spend those hours somehow, so you get better get used to playing Big Fish Casino. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is Farmville still a thing? I think so. I used to love Big Fish Casino. I did too. I'm in my second Big Fish Casino phase. I've been through this once before. It's honestly a really fun thing to do. It's kind of like you're. I'm playing a game, but I don't have to touch it. And also my phone is... is preoccupied so I can't check it for like tweets or anything so it just sits there and you know spins slots I didn't play a ton of Farmville <clears throat> I remember when Tetris Friends came out I played a bunch of Tetris Friends Tetris Friends was like Tetris, but you could play it with your friends. <laughs> and it was like, oh shit, we can play Tetris together. Uh, it was on Facebook. You could, yeah, you could play Tetris and it was just like competing with high scores with your friends. It was, yeah, yeah, it's like Tetris. I don't know what Tetris Connected is, but it sounds probably, probably pretty similar. I think that was too intense. That looked like it might have been too intense. The best, at, yeah, I was one of the best at Tetris too, for sure. It was a good time. Now I'm terrible at every game. Rentable carpet two two five. Thank you for the prime sub. Bite Finnick, thank you for the two months. Water Lily so so, and Judith Jude, thank you for the prime sub. Getting in a bowl. Thank you for the nine months. Me Tomo? I don't remember Me Tomo. Was that kind of like Tamadachi Life? I remember some of those games coming out and I wasn't sure which was which. Do I celebrate 420? Probably not today. I'm so sleepy. I might have another G Fuel. I might just G Fuel all day. Dude, Peggle is dope. I like Zuma. Where's my... Where's my ratings here? Is it too intense or what? Zuma! I'm drinking, um... The Pink Lemonade again. The name I refuse to say. But... I'm getting the blueberry. I'm almost out, so I'm getting the blueberry lemonade next. Mm, what a hamburger. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. People are going to ride the shit out of this. It's boring as fuck. The blueberry lemonade's really... I like all their lemonades. I notice they have a mango lemonade now. I haven't tried it, but um, it's probably good. Uh, G I'm talking about G Fuel. 
What up, Inviso guy? Mm -hmm. I'm doing all right. I'm just relaxed. I'm actually waking up a bit. I think pounding the fuel and having to speak is is waking me up. What up, Rocky? Parzival, thank you for the 20 months. Wood Panel, thank you for the 19 months. Try Weekly Asp, thank you for the three months. Flatface420, thank you for the three months. That House in Canada, thank you for the Prime Sub. I was never a big mango fan. I like mangoes. I really came around to mangoes when I, when I started trying the Trader Joe's dried mango. Oh, oh mango. I know it's, like, loaded with sugar. Oh, I don't have any janitors. What is exactly G Fuel? I can't answer that. It's like, a, it's like an energy drink that they say it uh, doesn't give you a crash. I don't know if they do, like, natural. I don't know. It's Gamer Fuel. It's supposed to be not bad for you. Caffeine with... It's caffeine with i th a i n You know, I'm a, I'm a scientific. It's got a lot of caffeine. Not bad for me? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I went to film school. I don't know what is in the things that I drink. <laughs> It wakes me up, and it tastes like lemonade. And yeah, it, 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 it's not super... It doesn't put me on edge as much as a cup of coffee. If I was sponsored, I would have... I would, I'm sure I would have a response for you. But I'm not. I just like it. More lights than your body has room for. Moose flavored G Fuel. If I had my own G Fuel flavor, it would probably be... I would just take the pink lemonade. I'd say, give me that one. <laughs> give, me, give me that one that I already like. And they would say, no. Mm -mm. Can't do that. And then I would say, well, fuck you. Then I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Pink lemonade or bust. Popcorn flavored? That would be great. Uh, that would actually be pretty great. Ooh, I like water flavor too. Water flavor would be awesome. Oh my god, Hidden Valley Ranch flavored. Yeah, I'll partner with them for like an April Fool's flavor. How's that? Crotch corn flavored. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, people still liking this. How are we doing on the... Dora Dora. Yeah, it's Dora Dora. Dora Dora Dora. 750 people. I've got 540. Oh, my park rating took a hit. Okay, I need to load it up with more stuff. Oh, there's the idea. Panther Piss Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Gotta design a flavor that's the essence of this time I'm really gonna do it. How do we distill that into a flavor? Let's, let's build a shuttle loop. Shuttle loop. Pickle. Uh, burning smoke.
I think your answer to the what what does that taste like question really says a lot about uh, you as a person. Kind of kind of projects what you think you're going to do when you snap. I mean, so whoever said burning smoke, probably going to burn some sort of building down. When they finally decide to really do it. <laughs> When the Bruce Lee's chat snaps. Surprised they haven't already, honestly. It's been how many years? Fire can be kind of cool. I got in trouble for lighting stuff on fire <laughs> in the backyard once. I just went out with a friend and we we brought some stuff outside and we we're just like, let's let's light some stuff on fire. It's kind of fun. And uh, my dad came out and was like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't do that, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I fear fire way too much now to do something like that. But back in the day, it, I, guess it's, I guess it seemed like a good idea. Magnifying class on it. I think it was matches. I think I was striking matches. It's cool. It's like science, you know? It's uh it's research. Not research. Research makes it sound not re it's science. <laughs> uh Crow Nostalgia. Thank you for subscribing. Danny the Demon Art, thank you for the 16 months. Hello, Ian. Happy 16 months, and now I will mostly lurk, as usual, and work on my quilt. Good luck on the quilt, Danny. He wrote stuff down. It was science. I, we maybe wrote stuff down, but then lit it on fire. Does that make, does that make it science? House that burned down not too far from where you lived because their kid was playing with matches. Yeah, that could have been me. I mean, I was smart enough to go. I went outside and was like on the concrete away from anything, you know, super burnable. Well, I thought I was being smart. It, I wasn't because I was lighting shit on fire in the backyard. But I was trying to do it in a responsible way. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? What else can I... Ooh, I like this one. You let your, sh your friend's shoes on fire once. We thought it'd be funny if he ran while they were on fire, so he looked fast. I mean, that makes sense. How fast did he look? Did he look faster? I can see the logic there. In fact, you would think it would also make you move faster because your fucking feet are on fire, so you would even move faster. That sounds very effective to me. I would try that now. I'm the only one who's never been anything worse than paper. Yet. You've never burned anything worse than paper yet. Your brother made bleach and toilet bowl cleaner bombs in aluminum foil. See, that makes me... See, I'm so normal. I was just lighting a few things on fire in the backyard on the, on the cement slab. <laughs> I'm so normal. You used to sacrifice your toys in fire. That tracks a lot, actually. That... Yeah, I can see that for you, Ben. Glacier Nestor, thank you for the eight months. Does my father bring up? No, no, no. I don't even know if he remembers that. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually, like, set anything big on fire. I was, like, burning, like, scraps of paper and stuff. I think he was more upset that I was going to leave a mark on the, on the concrete. Or maybe he was worried that his young son was setting things on fire. I guess I don't, I guess I don't really know. 
at the time, I thought it was just, you know, don't leave a mark on the, <laughs> the concrete. Mm, what a hamburger. Uh, trans Train Girl, thank you for the eight months. Hey, Ian. You've been streaming so much lately. I've been busy, so I haven't caught you live in a while, but it's been lovely to have so many VODs to watch. I wish you the best. Keep an eye on the po box for a special gift from me in the coming months. Thank you so much, Trans Train Girl. Happy to be streaming more. I felt like I had missed a few days, so that's why I'm here today. Okay, can we do a loop? Can we do a loop or like a corkscrew? Ooh, inline twist sounds awesome. Zoop. I am putting the row machine. I, I appreciate it. I don't look buff, but I am I am rowing. Rowing the day away. I, you're gonna get that free sub, Cosmo. I know it's gonna happen. I'm so excited for the for the sub giveaways next season. Oh my god, I'm so so pumped. Can you see my abs? I don't have any of those. I don't have any of those. I don't know that I want any of those. Like, abs seem a little aggressive, you know. Scare me a little bit. Oh wow! Let's see if I can stick an inline twist. There. It's probably gonna be a bad idea, but it just looks so cool. Yeah, that is a bad idea. We all have abs. They're just hidden. I don't. I got rid of them. I have no abs. Didn't want them. Yeah, ab removal surgery. Didn't want them. They weren't in my life plan. I do still have the Blackberry. I wish I could use the Blackberry. I guess I'm just going to go for another, like, round over. I don't really know. It doesn't seem like enough for a ride. Maybe it is. Maybe I just end it there. Let's not overcomplicate. Let's not overcomplicate. Mm -hmm. Oof. What is the uh, what are the odds that that actually goes around? Low? I'm feeling low. Ba 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 doodaloo. I feel like a roller coaster would cost more now. They're pretty cheap. You don't have any like official regulation on roller coasters. Oh yeah, see this isn't even working. Did I not put I don't I don't know that I put a chain lift on this. Deadly coaster? Probably not. Maybe. I don't tend to. I don't tend to do the deadly coasters. I know that's everyone's, uh, that seems to be everyone's fond memory of this game, but I like to run, I run a good theme park here. I'm here to make money and, uh, make the customers happy. Maybe at the very end, once I've completed the objective... Yeah, I'm a businessman over here, okay? This looks dangerous. I hate when the the cars kind of stick out. You should try and make parks with no exit. Oh, yeah, I used to do stuff like that. I would, um, you know, you can go into scenery here. Where is it? You go into scenery and you use, do I have one? don't have one unless I'm what I'm thinking of is only in two you can you can get signs 
that you can turn into no exit signs that, that guests won't go through and you can put one just right in front of the door and they will never leave. They'll walk up to the sign and be like, oh. Okay, signs are in two. Okay. Oh, hey, this guy made it all the way around. Yeah, I'm j I just continued the Bingo 98 file. When am I going to play The Sims 2? I have no idea. I have no idea. I know that I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon now. Anything beyond that, I don't... It's really, it's... Uh, it's, a, it's a mystery. Uh, it would have been so cool if you did a corkscrew, though. I started playing Sims on my Steam Deck, though. I started playing Sims 4 on my Steam Deck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, people ride this. How much is theme park admission? It's 30 bucks. Sims 4 runs great on the deck. I don't even have to do the the Steam version. You can load it on the EA player. So I got to keep all of the the millions of dollars I spent on expansion packs. Should have named it the EA app. Isn't that what they named it? Oh, the E app. I gotcha. It was very confusing when I, they were like, download the EA app. I'm like, in that origin? Didn't realize it had been uh, retired. Sims 5 will make me buy it all again. It's probably true. I feel like I'll wait. I feel like with Sims 5, I'll probably wait till they have some expansion packs. I But I say that. And I bought Sims 4 before they had pools. And I just complained about it. I still bought it, though. I do have janitors, but I should get some more, and I should delegate them to, like, specific islands, honestly. Maybe I'll, I'll do that here in a sec. Mm, what a hamburger. Here we go. I like Sims 4. I, I don't uh, I don't have a problem with Sims 4 anymore. I did I did when it launched without all that shit, but Oh see tidiest park in the country. Back on top. I don't have an opinion on Sims 3 very much because it didn't run on my computer very well. See ya, Alyssa. Should I download Sims 4 on PS4? Uh, that, uh, that I don't know. I don't know that I would play Sims on PS4. I would just get it on Steam if you can. It's free on Steam. Kshaka. Thank you very much for the 86 months. Dude, you're almost at the 90. I, I probably need to make some new popcorn buckets. I would come up with a funny quip, but I'm so tired and stressed that I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. Happy Wednesday, I think. Thank you so much, Chaka. I get that feeling. Should I get the Herb Sims in the City for GBA? I've seen some of the GBA Sims games. They're not bad. I, I should actually play one on here. Oh, pizza. Let's put the pizza. Cosmo, do you like herbs on the big console or do you like the handhold handheld one? I know they're, I think they're different games. I have the GameCube one. Thor Obliterator, thank you for the 38 months. Hey, mister, want to wrestle? No. <laughs> I don't remember his response. No, not right now, kid. Go away. I'm avenging my father's death. Something like that. I just recently watched my boyfriend play Sims busting out on GBA. It was actually really good. 
I'd never, I've never, I had never seen those standalone Sims games before, but they're kind of cool. Had it on GBA. Yeah, the GBA ones look kind they're, they're like little adventure games. Uh, I don't think I have anything. Let's get some, let's get some more accurate janitoring going on. Foley a Jess. Thank you very much for the $5. Hi, Ian. Hope you are having a great day today. Matt Attack TV and I watch your streams and videos all the time. It is truly the highlight of our days. Could you give a shout out to our cat Gizmo? She watches with us too. Hi, Gizmo. Number one fan. Thank you very much, Foley Jess, Matt Attack TV, and Gizmo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You're gonna play Sims before I start. You can play Sims. You can still spend the whole day playing Sims. I gotta edit some of this video, man. I uh, I've been so distracted with Bingo ninety eight stuff that it's like, holy shit! I have to. There's a video due. I gotta, I gotta get a video done. Boom! 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 I'm waiting in the last till the last minute for what? What am I waiting till the last minute for? Probably. Or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, the deadline. Uh yeah, I I am waiting till the last minute. It's always like a last minute push. Did I see the robber in Sims? I don't remember. I think so. I don't remember, though. If you're talking about the GBA ones, I, I think I did have a conversation with the, the robber. Dude, I need, to, I need to chug a G Fuel. Oh, wooden crazy rodent roller coaster. That's the one that crashed and that I never wanted to ride ever again. Dango Mancer. Thanks for the 27 months. The menu is great. Haven't seen it. Also, cool, 27 months. Definitely watch it if you haven't. I've not seen the menu. I saw the bear, which was, I mean, it was food related. <laughs> Night, Chaka. I'm jealous. Get some good sleep. You guys got any cool sleeping tricks? You guys do anything? Uh... Do I watch movies? I watch movies sometimes. <laughs> Occasionally. I watch most of the box. That was almost a movie. It was like a movie. Oh my god. I can't do melatonin, man. I feel like when I'm, when I'm having trouble sleeping... Um... And the melatonin doesn't work, and I'm just up, but I'm groggy, and I'm, like, half alive. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I can't do that. Sleep late because you're a night owl. I feel like I just get, like, waves. Like, I'll have... Uh, it's usually week-long periods where I just can't sleep. And then it'll go away. I'll sleep fine. But, man, during the, those weeks, it, it can be tough. Bup, 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 bup. No, this is not open RCT2. This is original Roller Coaster Tycoon. 
played on a Windows 98 machine. Did you watch Moose 2 VODs? I would maybe do that. I like my VODs, actually. Excuse me. THC. Yeah, I have like a... I have like an Indica pin near my bed uh, that helps sometimes, but sometimes it's just, I'm just up. I am playing on the computer that LGR built me. The LGR machine. Would I do a Carmen San Diego gameplay? Definitely. Yes, LGR machine minus video card. I did replace the video card. I really gotta make I gotta make it clear that I'm not emulating somehow. Like a big just a big banner that covers the entire screen that just says real computer. PC on camera at all times. I actually kinda love that. I could have a close-up camera that shows like the the light that lights up when it's loading, you know, that flickers. It'll I could just put it like under my camera and you could see every time it's it's flickering to load. Cruise Ship Tycoon? I have not. I did get a Casino Tycoon game recently that I want to try. Haven't played it before, but I wish I'd install Bonsai Buddy. Is there a version without, like, the malware? Does the malware even matter? I don't even know what it did. I know it was some type of virus. <laughs> malware doesn't matter. It's fine. You know what I do want to get? I want to get, um... I think it's an XP thing. But the desktop destruction app where you got... You got to, like, shoot your desktop and and draw on it. You could put, like, bugs on the screen and stuff. I got to get that. I don't know if that was a 98 thing, though. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I have those. I, I've played Who Wants to Be a Millionaire before. That's definitely something that could show up in Bingo 98 because, I mean, that'd be perfect for it. Man, I hate playing the game. I love game shows, but I hate playing them because I'm so dumb. And then everyone sees just how dumb I really am. <laughs> Irod 2001. Thank you for the three months. Hey, Moose. I'm at school, but had to stop by the radio room when I heard who were streaming and drop a sub. Have a terrific stream. Thank you so much, Irod. Okay, put some entertainers out here. If you were to, if you were to be on a show, you would it would have to be millionaire. Oh, absolutely not. If I'm going, if I'm going on a game show, hmm. Um, I feel like I could do press your luck. Press your luck is one that's pretty even. Family feud. My family is in shambles. So that's not, <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> price is right would be bad. I don't think I know the I don't think I know the price of things enough. You have to you have to like guess uh prices. For, I have no idea how much a cruise costs. How am I going to know? Supermarket sweep could be okay. Deal or no deal, yeah. The problem is that deal or no deal takes so long. I would love to be on deal or no deal and constantly be like, can I go? Can I go? Oh, dude. People are all about this. Look at the fucking line here. Jeopardy, no. Jeopardy, no, I couldn't do. I do know the story of the guy who uh, broke Press Your Luck, who figured out the random board. There's, a, I think there's a documentary on YouTube about it. Great story. Fear Factor. I dominate on Fear Factor for sure. What are... 
What's the what's the deal? Oh yeah, I'd eat some cockroaches, man. You know me. I got that iron stomach. <laughs> MXC. Oh, MXC would be great to be on. They should do MXC again and just dub the American, like, wipeout stuff. Just dub that shit. I bet that would be hilarious. Survivor? No, 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 no. I could not do Survivor. You actually have to go out there and survive. What's that, uh, uh, nailed it? I could do nailed it. Nailed it would be in my wheelhouse. Didn't Takeshi's castle come back literally today? I did not know that. Badass if true. No, Amazing Race. I watched a decent amount of Amazing Race just a year or two ago. I'd never seen it before. Oh, you can't get to this fucking stall. Kind of uh, miserable a little bit. Just like the experience does not seem fun. It's like you get to visit a bunch of cool places, but you're constantly stressed out and trying to leave the <laughs> leave the place as, as fast as possible. Ooh, battle bots! I mean, I'd need someone to design me a bot, but I would I would go on battle. I could be the concept guy. I could come up with a cool idea for a battle bot. Flippers are OP in BattleBot. Matcha Angel. Thank you for the four months. Hi, Ian. My husband and I love watching your streams in the background as we work or chill. Can you give my husband, Nathaniel, a shout out? Nathaniel! Love you, Moose. Complex Carbs. Thank you for the four months. I love all of Ian's videos. You gotta be more picky. I put out some stinkers, okay? You can't love every video. You gotta say, hey, that one was terrible. Remember that one? Don't ever make that video again. Thanks so much, Complex Carbs. You see me on Big Brother? Oh my god, no. Actually, actually, yes. I actually think I'd be good. I'd be a good addition to those to the reality shows where everyone is just fucking crazy because all of my talking heads i'd just be like these people are fucking crazy how do i get off of this show uh, i think that'd be great <laughs> okay can we fill some seats on roller coaster tycoon 3 whispers on the other players yeah i would i would be i would be up to shenanigans i'd be up to shenanigans and if i played survivor i would be i'd be a russell i would be once again i'd be up to shenanigans that's the place for them a reality competition show i mean if you're gonna shenanigan that's the place to do it opossum plays thank you for the 24 months thank you thank you That's more that's that's more accurate, Six Ed Sam. I would talk I would talk mad shit and probably get voted out of wherever very quickly. <laughs> Naked and afraid. I don't think so. Fake an addiction for My Strange Addiction. Is My Strange Addiction a competition show? Because that would be an interesting direction to take it. America votes. Who has the strangest addiction? What up, OMG? Boom. 
What up, Jamsters? Cash Cab? Oh my god, that's another show where I would look so stupid. I would be humiliated on the Cash Cab. Now if I could get on Crab Cab, that's the show I want to get on. I need a new ride. Oh, I don't have one of these yet. Where do I put this? Um... Oh, they're hungry. Okay, hold on. Before I do this, let me load up on restaurants. Remember, a lot of people who did terribly and won anyway because they were taking a short trip. I guess I don't even remember the rules of Cash Cab. I know you're in a cab and you have to answer questions or you get kicked out, which is a hilarious concept. Give me my own reality show where I go in and it's like bar rescue, only I'm rescuing dead YouTube channels. I just come in with a bunch of crazy advice. We're changing your makeup channel into a political commentary channel, okay? This is the only way to save it. Why am I doing this? I was going to go load up on food. Stop doing this. Load up on food. Oh my god, me on a dating game show? I mean, I would be hilarious, but terrible at the actual show. I think any show where I had to make friends with people would not go well. <laughs> or would go well, but also badly. Oh, if I hosted the dating, that would be awesome. I would honestly love to host a show like that. Being the host of a game show or like a dating show, that just seems like such a fun job. And I feel like I'd be good at it. Got cotton candy. Oh, the cotton candy stall always freaked me out. Call me Sweet Pea. Thank you for the five months. Good afternoon, Ian. The other night, I had a nightmare where I was being chased by Benny Brush through liminal spaces, and he kept screaming that he killed Stu. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you so much. Call me Sweet Pea, you know? If they ever want to make Gerbert into, like, a indie horror game, that sounds, that sounds like it would uh, sell pretty well. That would be a great That would be a great direction for Gerbert to go in actually. Indie horror. He's trying to scare the shit out of you but at the same time he's still he's he stops to tell you a bible story. to suggest that to the creator. I should. Oh, we got two pizzas next to each other, but it's fine. Reboot Gerbert as a spicy adult drama. You could do, you could do Gerbert, um, Bojack Gerbert. Uh, he's, he's, was a child star, but now he's not and he's real depressed about it. And this time he's really going to do it. I mean, there's... There's the tagline of the show. It's just Gerbert's, Gerbert's face on the poster. This time I'm really going to do it. I mean, how do, you not, how do you not tune into that? 
Oh, Crisis of Faith would be awesome. That's a great angle to take it. That'd be amazing. He's like into demons now. He's moved on to Satanism. Jesus is a is a character on the show too and he's constantly trying to like win him back over. I think it could work. Okay, is that enough food? You eating enough now? How do you have a crisis of faith if Jesus is literally talking to you? I mean, that's that's for the writers to, you know, I'm like a big picture guy. That's for the writers to figure out. They'll they'll figure it out. <laughs> Any plot holes, I'll just say that's not my problem. I think that's somebody else's problem. I don't think that's that's my job. Ooh, Jesus is there talking to him, but he can't hear him. He can't hear or see him. But occasionally he, like, gets whispers. But he's fallen so far from his faith uh, that he can't, he can't really see Jesus anymore. Not that he saw him in the show. I mean, maybe he did. I, I haven't finished the show. Two H fan club, thank you for the sixty-seven months. Hot dog sweet, thank you for the four months. Everybody sucks, probably true. Well, there people are shitting, that's for sure. I I hear that. A lot of shits going on. For sure, this ride is going to crash. For sure. They're going to fly off the end here. And I'm going to say, well, that's why you don't ride these kinds of rides. Oh, my God. That is a really loud toilet. <laughs> it's a really loud toilet sound. Oh my god. It's kind of making me have to go to the bathroom. I'm not I'm not going to lie. Okay. Let's see if this even works. I'm not charging for my uh toilets, but maybe I should be. The Assassinathan, thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, that's going to explode. 8-Bit Kitty Cat, thank you for the 32 months. Looking forward to Brutal Foods videos about prune juice and adult diapers from the nursing home. I'm excited for that too. I'll, I'll uh, be sure to give you the best adult diaper reviews on YouTube. <laughs> That I can guarantee. <laughs> Prune juice taste test. You could probably do a lot of cool videos in a nursing home. Like, especially if people were down to be interviewed or something. There's some good, there's got to be good stories uh, there. I don't know if I've had prune juice. I've had, uh, what's the other juice? There's only one other juice. What's the other juice? Cranberry? Six Sad Sam. Thank you for the $5 and change. Hey, Ian. 
I just finished my final research report and presentation for my undergraduate degree today. And I just want to thank you for the countless hours of background noise as I wrote four years of essays. Love you, homie. Thank you so much, Sick Sad Sam. And congratulations over there, man. Not a small feat. Oh, man, I'm crushing it right now. October year three. Oh, my God. It's going to take forever. Cranberry juice with vodka. I haven't had that. Okay, this thing might be too big. Oh, I can probably stick it right here. It's just a matter of how people are going to get to it. Um, over here could work. See ya, Jill. Okay, I'm going to do a loop here. I'm going to try and go in a, in a nice little loop. Mm -hmm. I have a favorite mixed drink. Um, I don't drink a lot of mixed drinks. When I have something that's not just like a canned cider, um, I'll have uh, like a vodka Sprite. It's... You know, something simple. <laughs> Pretty basic. Okay. Now, Loop's going to start over here. Yeah, I like vodka sodas. Uh, that's pretty much what I will mix with. I, I like vodka if I'm going to mix. Everything else sucks. Vodka is kind of like nothing. <laughs> uh... Have I ever mixed everything together at a soda fountain? Yeah, I have. I think those that used to be called a suicide, right? I think that's what we used to call them on the, uh, the Little League field. Swamp Water. That's a good name for it. Okay. Vodka, cranberry juice, lime wedge, cape equals cape cod. That sounds good. Did I cut the lawn yet? I did. I did. Thank you for asking me about my lawn. Now we're going to kick off an hour-long lawn care discussion. Because I'm so excited to talk about my lawn. <laughs> It actually does look great. I'm very happy with it. If you if you remember, I I planted all new grass last year. I basically I basically tore up my entire backyard, which isn't too big, and planted all new grass. And man, it looks so good right now. I did edge it. Yes, I also trimmed the edges. It is elderly, elderly elderly man talks about grass. I got to get you know, I got to get used to it. I got you know, I'm warming up for the retirement home. Awesome uh, Cosmo, you should show me some pictures of your your lawn sometime. Hmm. Yeah, I do. I want to swap lawn picks. Look, there's only so many people in my life that care about a lawn. It's not that many. So it is nice. It is nice when you find someone that, <laughs> that does. Oh, 
Uh, am I going to have to chain lift? I probably will have to chain lift here. Mm, I might move this. Let's move the soda thing. It's... Brutal lawn care. I probably won't do a lawn care video. You can't make videos out of everything. Otherwise, you'll hate everything. You have to... <laughs> Something's got to be just for you, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need chain lifts on this almost for sure. Lawn tour. My lawn is not big enough to tour. It could be like a photo. I've seen those channels. The guys who go around mowing lawns for free. Yeah, they get crazy views. Can I turn? Please? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going to do another chance. This is going to be a very long roller coaster. Sounds like a Hank Hill passion project. It's a way to get mad YouTube views. Mm, I mean, it's also a nice thing to do for somebody, but it is also a nice way to get mad YouTube views. Who was that? It was Matt Daniels 82. Thanks for the $6 and change, Matt Daniels 82. Uh, 12... I'm having a hard time reading the numbers. Is that 13? Going to be in Seattle uh, in a couple months. Any places I'd recommend? Man, Fable, I don't know. You know, I was just thinking the other day that I don't have, I don't have a very good answer. For, I don't even really know what Seattle's like right now. I would, I would go to Pike Place if it were me just because I love Pike Place Market, but I haven't been in quite some time. Boop, 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 boop. Pike Place in the gum wall. I haven't been to Seattle in years. Okay, where are we ending up here? We're ending up at nine, or is that three? Nine. We end up at nine. Yeah, there's Starbucks. You could visit a number of Starbucks. Uh, just, you could go on a Starbucks tour. Thoughts on the Mario movie or Renfield? Um, I haven't seen either. Neither look good to me, but I will see the Mario movie. I will definitely see it. I gotta see the Sonic movies first, though. I still haven't watched those. Ooh, Aquarium in Seattle's great. Uh, I have Again, I haven't been in a long time, but assuming it's still awesome. Renfield was disappointing. It kind of looked like it just kind of looked like what we do in the shadows. It kind of looked like they were just like, "Hey, let's let's do what we do in the sh <laughs> let's do what we do in the shadows." Uh, okay. Yes, Cosmo. There are otters at the Seattle. Aquarium. Definitely the best part. I'm pretty sure they're the last part. I think they save it for the end. Is that going to line up? Uh, no. Oh, wow.
Oh, no, no, didn't want to do that. I want to do one little zoop. Zoop. Okay. Not the most impressive loop, but it did complete into a loop, which, I mean, I'm, I'm a little happy about that. Evil Dead. See, I don't know what I don't know what movies coming out. I'm really even all that interested in, to see. John Wick. Is there another one coming out? Oh, this looks fun. I could I could get a, I could get rid of some of these chain lifts actually. Cinephile Railroad 1993. Thank you for the bits. Rain Dog 2020, thank you for the five months. Faye Lover Forever, thank you for the 34 months. It's Rocky Raccoon, thanks for the 15 months. Hey, Ian. Hope you're having an awesome day building some cool coasters. I am. I'm going to leave the chain links. I'm just going to say, fuck it. It slows it down, but uh, slowing down is part of the fun. What's my favorite roller coaster ever? The Titan. Thank you so much, Dan, not Dave. Uh, for the six months. The Titan. Oh, you know that, um, is it Bo is Afraid? I don't really get the trailers of that, but that does make it seem interesting. That movie does look intriguing. Oops. It's three hours long. I'm not going to go see that. <laughs> Why don't they cut that up into, you know, six miniseries parts and just put it on Hulu? That's what they should have done. That would have made it art. New Avatar? Is the new Avatar movie out? The only movie I'm going to watch that's three hours long is Jane Dealman. And only because it's so action-packed. How many potatoes will she peel? Jimmy-san 2, thank you for the 42 months. I should save. Young Sango 13. Thank you for the three months. Have you made a death coaster yet? I have not. Not intentionally. I guess it could want, any of them could become a death coaster. Will I be streaming for a while longer or getting off soon? Probably not a crazy amount of uh, time longer because I really do have to edit my, my video. I'm pretty happy with how packed this park has gotten, though. I managed to cram a decent amount of stuff in here. Uh, this is not thrilling enough for people or too expensive. I'll lower it to 30 cents before I re-construct. I'm well versed in moving. How does one pack? You just put shit in boxes, man. Just throw them in there. And be careful of books. Don't put too many books in a box. Because books are heavy. 
T88, thank you for the 20 months. A friendly stand, thanks for gifting that sub to Inviso Guy. Adamadium, thank you for the three months. Give me that sweet, sweet Arlen emote. <laughs> Worst part is unpacking. Unpacking does kind of suck. It's kind of fun, but is also kind of terrible. Save the small boxes for books. Big boxes are good for pillows, linens, clothes. See, I like to use the pillows, linens, and clothes as, like, padding instead of getting bubble wrap or something. Like, I, I would put, you know, the glass cups. I would wrap them in my shirts. Uh, stuff like that. Oh, burger bar. Okay, that will fit way easier than a bobsled. Kata Wolf, thank you for the 33 months. Leafy Lake was the best map. Also, hello. Hey, Kata Wolf, if you're still around. I don't think I liked Leafy Lake. I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to see a picture. Oh, wait. No, I didn't like Leafy Lake. Leafy Lake's the one with the lake, right? So uh, it's a, a touch leafy. Oblivious Mef, thanks for gifting that sub to Cosmo. Coco, that's a true sign of friendship there. Uh, thanks so much, Ben. Feather Baby, thank you for the nine months. Ian has no abs and is now a wet noodle. That's me. Ader, I've killed none. I'm trying to become the best park in the nation here. I can't be killing, killing guests. I did it so we couldn't win a bingo reward. Oh, well, then that's not... That was uh, that's an aggressive sub-gift. <laughs> a spiteful sub. Okay, let's see here. I'm drowning in cash. So, let's do some... Uh, let me pay off my loan first. No, fuck that. I'm going to stay in debt. Stay in debt, and I'm gonna... Mm, free food campaign. I'll give away some fries. How's that? That's, that's pretty generous. I'm staying in debt. Any good money manager is gonna say, listen, you need more debt. You haven't accrued enough debt yet. How did I manage to stream from Windows 98? Uh, so it's I've got a Windows 98 computer, and that signal goes into uh, a video converter to change it from what is it DVI to it does RCA and S video, and then that goes into an Elgato capture thing. Uh, I, d I do have VGI to HDMI, but that's not how I'm doing it here. Yeah, possums. We talked about the do not enter signs. Oh, I think someone someone said that they, those were in only in two. They're not in Roller Coaster Tycoon one, so I don't have that option. Moose two setup tour would be sweet. I could try, but the thing is, it would. Um, I change how I do things all the time. There's always new adapters, new ways to do things. I'm always trying to get a better picture or uh, sound out of it, but I could do that at some point. Police line, do not cross tape. I wasn't thinking DVI. I'm thinking VGA, not DVI. VGA to RCA to capture. And then the, the VGA to RCA splitter, since it puts out RCA and S-Video, I'll sometimes run the extra output to a monitor that I watch so there's no lag, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. It's tons of cables. I have cables everywhere, dude. I'm drowning in cables. 
I've got drawers full of cables, boxes full of cables, cables, converters, dongles, just it's fucking everywhere. You make me a background layout for retro game streams. I think I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I do like, I really like keeping my, my stream layout super simple. Uh, I think I like to, I like to make the game the, the focus. Oh, zip ties is a great idea. Then people need more balloons. Oh, I need to raise my entry fee. Boom. It's my opinion on fax. I never used a fax machine, really. I don't. I think I've maybe sent a fax in my life, possibly. But even then, I'm not. I don't know that I've done that. Oh, yeah, I've got a ton of Velcro strips, too. Snooze Cruise, thanks for the 85 months. Did you know there are tomato stores in one of the crazy taxi games? I did not know that. It's pretty dope, though. I got to show you guys my Shinmu. I got some type of... Oh, I won't spoil it. No, I'm going to do that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. Nope. Anyway... What else is... What were we talking about? <laughs> zip! Zip! Waffle Stomper 53. Thank you for the six months. Best content creator award goes to you, Ian. Can't wait for Bingo 98. Cheers. Thank you so much, Waffle Stomper. Zip! Zip! <laughs> I'm trying to be better at, like, sharing things I'm working on and stuff I want to do, but I also don't... I still don't want to share everything. So excited for Bingo 98, guys. Oh. Today, actually, I'm going to pick the games. After I'm done editing, my Bingo 98 job is selecting the 75 hopefuls. Work in secret and drop a big project with no hype. That's kind of... That's kind of what I do for the most part. I want to share, like, little things. But bigger ideas I should keep quiet. Because it's like... It's learning the lesson from the big video. I shouldn't have talked about the big video at all because it didn't happen. And now for the rest of my life, I'll be asked about it. So, you know. Oh my god, Bingo Millennium Edition. That'd be a fun, like, New Year's stream. I don't want to build any of these. Let's try and get some more thrill rides. How do I... Oh, shit. It's science. Let's do... Oh, souvenir stall. I remember being vaguely concerned about Y2K. I remember just enough to be like, are we all going to die or what? We did not. Love to watch a long ass video on King of the Hill. I'm sure it would get watched. I just don't know that. For me to make that video, I would have to not release anything for like, I don't know, months and months and months. And I'm trying to not do that anymore. SB Nala. Thank you for the two months. Glad to catch you on a stream today, Ian. My boyfriend and I have become recent fans of yours and are always looking forward to new content. You even inspired me to try the Nance games, and I'm now obsessed. Today is me and my boyfriend's eight-year anniversary. We're settling in to eat some dinner. Thank you so much for the videos and streams. Thank you so much, SB Nala. And happy eight-year anniversary.
Your parents told you that it would not be a problem and it wasn't. I just remember, like, I was just vaguely nervous. Like, I, I think I was too young to really even understand what it was, but people were nervous about it, and that made me nervous. Oh, 2012. <laughs> How did we survive? Barely made it out. Nam and Jaden, thank you for the three months. Matt Daniels, 82, thank you for the four months. Who's number one? Thank you for subscribing. Hanima, thank you for the 51 months. Yeah, I I can see how there there should be there there was some concern, you know, about rolling over to a new number or whatever, but it was a fun time. Too young to think about Y2K. That's got it. That's nice. That must be nice. <laughs> Come on, give me some thrill rides. I want some thrill rides. Born after Y2K. Ah. <laughs> ah, youth. Okay, I think something could go here. This is some unused space. I'm trying to find where the go-karts are going to go. I guess the answer is everywhere. This is some more. I could do something tiny here if I flatten it out. Boom, 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 boom. Anonymous, thanks for gifting those subs. Intricate, thank you for the 11 months. Hello, Mr. Ian. How's the theme park going? It's going too well, honestly. I think one of the bigger problems with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is that you can beat the challenge so easily. And um, then you just, I'm just waiting. I got a full year to wait. So I guess I'm just going to try and keep that park rating up. I'll keep the rides going. I'll lower... I should just lower all the prices. I remember the Y2K episode of King of the Hill. I guess I remember every episode of King of the Hill now. There's no episode that escapes me. <laughs> There we go. Cool statue. Sure, I'll add some cool statues. I rarely go into the uh, scenery tab. I get so focused on the coasters. Hardest part of the game is time because people get bored of the rides. You have to add more or revamp old ones. Interesting. I feel like the counter to that is you get go-karts and then the game is over. Park with the best roller coasters. Fully Cooly, thank you for the two months. And the the Uwu Merchant, thank you for the prime sub. Sorry, that, I had to read that. I, it took me a second. <laughs> Favorite part of the game is decorating. I like the... Uh, this, again, might only be in two. I think it's in one. Where you get the jumping water fountains that shoot the water from tile to tile. Best decoration. I like the fences, too. Fences aren't bad. Path in the way. Hmm. 
One day we'll have a game that merges Sims and Roller Coaster Tycoon. That would be a lot. How would that work? Do you manage the park guests like a sim? Do you build the park and then you play a guy visiting the park? Because, I mean, that would be fun. I still have not played Thrillville. I had a copy. I remember trying to stream it once. And uh, it didn't work. It was scratched up. It didn't work. There we go. Fun little pathway. Used to love tycoon games. Cosmo, what what was your favorite like kind of underground tycoon game? One I'm, I might not have heard of. Lemonade Tycoon. I have heard of that one. Haven't played it though. Thrillville's full of mini games. Interesting. I'll have to try it. I mean, I clearly I want to. I just it was broken. Drug Tycoon. Oh, I finally got the Ferris wheel. No, I don't charge people to go to restrooms. Not usually. I was going to say I don't, you know, I don't want to abuse the customer or anything, but I do when I get the go-karts. Then I just build go <laughs> just build go-karts everywhere. Dude, there are a lot of people here. I'm surprised at how many... Is it crowded? Are people complaining about crowded streets? I don't have the Leaping Fountains. I'm not investing in... Uh, I'm not investing in scenery. Parkitect. Dude, I have Parkitect. I haven't played it much, but I'm very interested because you can do multiplayer. You can, like co-build parks together? That sounds dope. I didn't play Pizza Tycoon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. T-Girl93, thank you for these 64 months. Hey, 64 months. Hope you are doing well. Thank you so much, T-Girl. I am. I'm doing pretty well. You get to make the pizzas in Pizza Tycoon. Is that kind of like Hot Dog King? I don't remember if you got to make the hot dogs in Hot Hot Dog King. Oh, okay. It's like it's like Club Penguin. That makes sense. I remember that game. Okay, I got nothing new to build right now. I'm just gonna check my Okay, people really don't love this. This ride is going to be free. Please come ride this ride. Log Flume still doing good. I think people stopped riding this because of the rain. Yeah. Roller Coaster 4 is broken. Fuck Roller Coaster 4. Mobile game. I haven't played video game dev, I don't think. Is YouTuber life still going? I know people were playing YouTuber life. I wonder how accurate that was. Litter. Okay, I need to put trash cans. Let's get some trash cans going. I think YouTuber life is like a, it's like a tycoon game, but tycoon simulator, but you're a YouTuber. You're making YouTube videos. Not accurate to my YouTuber life, way too successful. <laughs> oh shit, are people stuck here? Wonder how long uh, that was preventing people from getting, that's, that's a bad path to be deleted. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't played Theme Hospital. Everyone says I would like it. I have no idea if there was a PewDiePie YouTuber game. I can't say that. You know what's pretty good that I, I did play lately? Not a video game, it's a board game. I picked up the Willy Wonka board game. It's like a new modern one. We just kind of saw it in the store and the packaging is just a golden ticket that says like, will you find it or something? And I was like, oh shit, will I? I gotta know. It's actually a lot of fun. You assemble a bunch of little plastic candy bars. There's like 50 something, 100 of them or something. And you slip a golden ticket in and then you're the, the game is moving characters around to do things and, and get tickets. And then whoever has the golden or candy bars and you open them all at the end. And whoever has got it is the winner. Kind of fun. I want to get Battleship. I haven't played Battleship in a while. I'm, I'm seriously just trash can patrol. And then I'm going to go put some bin benches down. Battleship Surface Thunder. I've never heard of that. Not sure what that is. Ever play Battleship with pencil and paper? I can't say that I have, but it's a good idea. I guess you don't really need the game at all to, to play it. Oh my god, the Battleship movie! I forgot about the Battleship movie! What was that about? You make a mark in pencil, grid paper is best, fold it in half, and then mark the mark on both sides, and it marks the side you folded. It's a lot of marks. You can make random marks. Yeah. Yeah, Marky Mark. Loved Battleship on paper. Cybernator 2! Thanks for the 15 months help. I'm addicted to the SpongeBob Marble Pusher. I can't help you. You're just gonna have to play more. It's only two marks. Was the... Was the Battleship movie better, or was uh, the Tetris movie, Pixels, better? It's all good. It's all good, guys. No. Okay, that should be good. I need to hire some security, because people are going to start vandalizing my benches. No, I'm talking about Pixels, the Tetris movie, the video game. Was it Adam Sandler? I want to say Josh Gad was probably in it. Kevin James. You know, I keep seeing, I'm watching old DVDs, right? I'm watching old movies. Not old, but I'm watching DVDs. And I've seen so many commercials for Paul Blart Mall Cop that I'm starting to want to watch it. I'm starting to want to uh, tune into some Paul Blart. I'll let you know uh, if I cave to those temptations. <laughs> you know... You guys don't want to do a Paul Blart watch along? 
How many Paul Blarts did he get? Is it just two? We could do a Blartathon. We could Blart it up. We become, become little Blarties. He's got to come back. He's got to come back for Paul Blart 3, where he's training the next generation of mall security. Ooh, or Paul, Bar Paul Blart 3, Dead Mall Edition. He's still guarding the mall, but nobody's there. And he just occasionally, you know, bumps into Dan Bell and is like, hey, stop filming our shitty mall. That's my pitch. Where am I going to put this thing? Uh, oh, it can go on the beach. Kevin James is almost 60 now. I could see a 60. I mean, is that not, that could be how old mall security is. I it wouldn't, you know, shock me. It's like a Walmart greeter or something. <laughs> Paul Blart doing security in the nursing home. There's an idea. Why do I subject? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's voluntary. You don't have to sit here and listen to me talk about Paul Blart yet. Here, here we all are. We're all currently considering tuning in to a screening of Paul Blart. Now, there's a franchise that should have gotten the multiverse treatment. He could have, he could have come in contact with all the other Paul Blarts. <laughs> Uh, because the uh, the mall the mall of America is in danger, and he's got a really, you know, he needs all the Blart's help to protect it. Everything, everywhere, all at Blart. There it is. There it is. I'm telling you, you could get it. You could get that greenlit somewhere. Someone would pay for it. I would watch it. The multiverse. <laughs> well, I'm excited to come back next time I stream and find out how many of us has, have watched Paul Blart. I have a feeling it's not going to be zero. Someone's going to go watch a trailer and be like, you know what? That sure does look like some, some lighthearted fun. Look at him fall over, and then he falls over over there, and he falls over over there. That's how I wish life would be. Everyone just falling over. Okay, I'm waiting for my next thing here. I don't think I have another thrill. You did not miss Bingo 98 Season 2. I'm still working on it. I'm going to try and get it live this weekend. I can't promise that it will be live, but uh, it should be this weekend or this coming week for sure. It should be done by the end of the month. I'm also working on a video right now that I got to get done. Um, so I'm, I'm juggling right now. I watch Paul Blart 2 every Thanksgiving. Do you watch Paul Blart 1 ever? Like, do you lead in? Like, do you watch Paul Blart on Halloween and then Paul Blart 2 when Thanksgiving rolls around? <laughs> I saw Paul Blart once with my aunt uh, and I was so pissed that I had to watch Paul Blart with my aunt that I just looked grumpy and I remember her looking over me and looking over at me and saying, you know, it's okay to smile or laugh at something in the movie, right? <laughs> I was just like, no. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's the face, Cosmo. That's the face I was making. Sometimes I just look like that, though. You know, sometimes I just look like that. I'm not trying to not smile.
podcast where two New Zealand guys watch Grown Ups 2 every day for a year. They recorded an episode every day and reviewed the film, and they went insane. <laughs> I could do that with Paul Blart. Only to, to keep from going insane, I'll just alternate between one and two. You Paul Blart one on one day, Paul Blart two on the other day. One, two, one, two. You never get tired of it because it's a different movie. And Paul Blart has so many layers that you'll, you'll see new things every time you watch it. Oh, did you notice that? I think Paul Blart, I think he actually farted there while he was falling off of his Segway. I've watched it you know, 300 times now, but I don't think I ever noticed that little, that little fart he had while he was, he was falling down. Paul Blart's fall fart. So that's, there's, that's that joke. <laughs> that's, that's the end of that joke. <laughs> okay. Paul, Bl <laughs> Paul Blart's Mall Sharts. That's a sequel. You've seen him fart, but wait till you see him shart. It's Paul Blart like you've never seen him before. Covered in his own shit. <laughs> Uh, so that's my pitch for Paul Blart 4. Oh, I love the hedge maze. <laughs> he leaves just a trail of shit as he segues away. <laughs> uh. It's like he makes the Jetsons noise when he's on his Segway, but it's not the Segway. It's his little little sharts happening as he, as he scoots on by. Listen, listen, he saved them all twice. We can't just fire him because he's shitting everywhere. All right? Paul Blart's a hero. And then they let him go, right? They let him go. But on his way out, armed criminals storm in, immediately slip on the shit, break their necks, you know? It's like they, they're, they're about to shoot a little kid or something, and then they slip on shit and break their necks. And, well, that's how they started teaching aggressive shitting in mall security class, the Blart method. <laughs> so there you go do we like this conversation better or do we like the pimple popper discussion better which which <laughs> uh okay <laughs> back to the pimples <laughs> Oh, uh, I feel almost like I ha I'm going to have to watch Paul Blart now. I feel almost like it's a requirement at this point. <laughs> Back to Milf Manor. Oh, man. So let me know if you end up watching Paul Blart is basically what I'm saying. And let me know if you can see a reality in which Paul Blart 5, uh, he doesn't have control of his bowels anymore. Just see if that would make sense canonically. Milf Manor is a show on TLC where uh, 
a bunch of milfs and a bunch of men are around to date, but they they keep fucking slipping in Paul Blart's shit because he's security on the show and he's just everywhere. I'm trying to hook up with this milf, but there's shit everywhere, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I really gotta go work on my video <laughs> I really gotta get out of here this is gonna this is gonna result in some very interesting jokes in my in my chip video as I go work on that here in a second oh my god <laughs> sending this stream to my sponsor. I have no stream sponsors, so it's fine. It's fine. Everyone's allowed. Send it. Send it out. Someone's gonna pick up on this idea, and they're gonna have to pay up big time. Once we're all in nursing homes, shit comedies are gonna be huge. The 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 genre is gonna explode. Anyway, I think on that note, it's time to wrap it up. Oh, shit, Com. <laughs> I think it's time to wrap it up for me. I think I need to go to work on something because I'm just sitting here pitching Paul Blart poop movies, which I think is a good indication that I should probably go work on something else. <laughs> this was fun. Just as the, the Blart talk was getting interesting. Jimmy wasn't interested until he was shitting at the retirement home. Shitting at the mall, mm mm. Shitting at the retirement home, that's it. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I get a laxative sponsor, I have a hell of a video topic. Oh, just wait till I'm wait till I'm streaming. I'm old and I'm streaming. I'll get those laxative sponsors. Are you kidding me? Imagine a laxative sponsor uh, with the same chaotic energy as my HelloFresh ads. They would be, uh, you know, they would be explosive, I'll say. <laughs> Amazing first stream. <laughs> Yeah, if this is your first stream here, welcome. Welcome. Uh, but also, goodbye. I'm wrapping up for the day. I really enjoyed this. Thank you very much. I was so tired and and sleepy when I started, but now I do feel energized to go work on my video a bit. I will be back soon. I was gone for a few days. I felt bad, so I'm back. Uh, I'm really hoping Bingo98 can launch this weekend. If not, I mean, I just have a hard time seeing it not launch at some point next week unless my video work just uh, gets in the way. But I'm going to try not to let that happen, all right? Either way, I will be live again soon with something. If you're curious about Bingo 98, you should head on over to youtube.com slash moose2 where you can watch the VODs of my hit Windows 98 randomized variety game show. As season 2 is going to start real soon. Uh, but you got enough time to catch up with season one. I think it should be a pretty good, pretty good watch. I did draw this Sonic. I drew it during the first season of Bingo ninety eight. So you could watch me do it by checking out those vods. Working on the Blart video, I'm gonna consider it. I will say that I'm considering a Paul Blart review much more strongly now than I was when the stream started. So we'll have to watch it and find out if there's if there's anything there. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. And, and for uh, humoring my, uh, my poop jokes. I'll be back soon. Have a great rest of your 420. Uh, take it easy and don't do anything I wouldn't do unless it's like real badass, you know? See you again in a, in a few days, all right? Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. 
We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.